Hey guys, Trevor Sullivan here. I wanted to come at you today with a slightly different video. This is something I've been playing around with recently and it deviates from the typical topic that I have here on my channel, which often revolves around cloud and PowerShell and automation and that kind of stuff. What we're going to do in this video is switch context a little bit into Firefox, specifically Firefox Nightly, so basically the nightly build of Firefox on the Android operating system. Now I've been playing around with an extension for some time called Tamper Monkey. It basically allows you to create, manage, and execute user scripts inside of your browser environment. Now user scripts are really handy because they allow you to manipulate the content of a web page whether or not you own it. So you can do things like automation tasks where you can click on different elements on the screen or you can monitor for changes to the screen and things like that. So I created a user script that basically allows me to rapidly block Twitter users. And you might be wondering, well, why did you do something like that? Well, the reality of Twitter is that it's, a, it's useful as a marketing tool. It's a great place to kind of microblog as is kind of more of a traditional term for it. Uh, basically, it just lets you get your thoughts out there very easily and it makes things very discoverable thanks to hashtags and a fairly robust search mechanism as well. So I like using Twitter for that purpose. However, it's also kind of a cesspool. There's lots of crappy political commentary out there. People uh, pretty much every day that I go on Twitter, I see the trending section and there's just total chaos happening there. And I really just want to block a lot of that out of Twitter. And so what I've started doing over the last, I don't know, several months or, or probably even longer than that has been to just block a bunch of these kind of bot accounts that are being used to tweet propaganda on Twitter. So that helps to kind of clean up Twitter a little bit. I mean, it's not perfect. It's never going to perfectly clean things out to the point where I don't have to worry about it anymore. Unfortunately, there's just always going to be crap on Twitter, but at least this helps kind of rein in some of the most popular uh, accounts out there that have you know millions of followers and are just constantly posting propaganda. So uh, at least it makes it a little bit better. Um, so what I'm going to do is switch over here into my desktop. And over on the left-hand side here, I've got, got Discord running. And I have two different user accounts logged into my Discord server here. And I've got my Android phone right here connected to one of those accounts. So I've got the Android app installed. And then I've also got the Windows 10 desktop application installed as well. And I, th I think it's built on Electron.js, so it's kind of a, a cr nice cross-platform application. Could be totally wrong about that. Anyway, what we're going to do here is basically take a look at how to install the Tamper Monkey extension onto Firefox Nightly, and then how you can install a user script, which I've actually, I've actually open-sourced the user script that I created specifically for this purpose. And we'll take a look at how to get that working. Now, one of the cool things about Discord here is that there's a, a new feature that just came out the other day that allows you to do screen sharing. So that's why I've got Discord fired up here is because it has this new screen sharing feature enabled. Uh, so as long as you're inside of a voice channel, you can either share your screen from Windows or as I'm doing in the case of Android here, I'm actually sharing my Android desktop. So as I uh, you know, flip up here, you'll probably see that uh, it brings up my application tray here. And so we've got kind of a, a real-time feed of what's going on here. Uh, it's going to lag a couple seconds, so uh, bear with me there. Anyways, uh, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you log into addons.mozilla.org. And if you don't have a Firefox account, then just go ahead and create one. But basically, the first step in this process is that you need to create what's called an add-ons collection. And so the add-ons collection basically just allows you to go into the add-ons feature here. And if you search for Amper Monkey, auto-completing for me there. And then if I just fire that up, you can scroll down and choose this add to collection option here. And if you don't already have a collection, just go ahead and hit create new collection here. I'll actually just uh, create one called demo video for the sake of example. And then what you'll see down here is that you get, get this custom URL and it includes your user ID. So the two pieces of information that you're going to need to either write down in notepad or remember here are your user ID and the name of the collection that you're creating. So go ahead and just hit create collection here. And so now I've created this collection called demo video and it has a single 
add-on inside of that collection. And this is just a prerequisite step that you have to go through according to the Firefox blog. I try to dig up the article here that talks about it. It came out within the last maybe month or so. Uh, but basically, this is, this is a new capability in Firefox Nightly that allows you to kind of go through, jump, jump through a few hoops to actually um, install arbitrary extensions. Uh, see if I can find it here. Actually, I might just go out to Google Android Firefox Nightly extensions. Oh, it actually came out in September, so a little bit further than I was thinking. But yeah, so basically there's this uh, expanded extension support in Firefox for Android Nightly. This is kind of the process that I'm following here. So it basically shows you, uh, you create this collection, you grab your user ID, and then you install Firefox Nightly. You go to the settings, you enable this debug menu, and then you have to plug in your collection ID and collection name here. Um, and then once you've done that, then you can go ahead and install any extensions that are inside of that custom collection that you've created, and then you can start managing them there. So uh, this is what we're going to go ahead and do now. So let's switch over to Discord here, where I've got my screen share enabled. I'm going to fire up uh, Firefox Nightly here. And as you can see, it's currently running, and it's in the add-on section. And sure enough, I have the Tamper Monkey extension installed here. And if I go over to settings, this is where you can kind of manage your environment here. If I go to installed user scripts, you can see I've got this block Twitter user, user script uh, pre-installed. Uh, but what I'm going to actually do here is uninstall Firefox Nightly so that I'm completely starting from scratch so that you guys can follow along exactly with these steps. So I'm going to head out to the Google Play Store for starters and just search for Firefox. Now, you, typically you'll get the main release version of Firefox up here, but there's a couple other versions of Firefox as well. There's one called uh, Firefox Focus here. Uh, it's more of a privacy-oriented browser that basically wipes your session every single time that you fire it up, so that's kind of cool. But then there's also this, for, for people who want kind of the latest and greatest bleeding-edge features, there's this Firefox Nightly as well. And so if we hit Install here, that'll go ahead and download this really quick. And so this, this extension support currently only works in Firefox Nightly, so don't try to follow these steps in Firefox uh, Standard Edition because it probably will not work unless something has changed within the last few days here that I'm unaware of. Oh, there's also a beta version down here as well, so there's Firefox Beta. Uh, so yeah, at least four different versions of Firefox that are available. I kind of like the icon for Firefox Nightly. It's got that cool kind of greenish cyan and purplish color. So, all right, so let's fire up Firefox here. And as you can see, I am not signed into it or anything. All of my date has been deleted. And so the first thing that you want to do is head over to add-ons. And as you can see under add-ons, there are basically a pre-selected list of add-ons that have been tested to work with Firefox Nightly. And unfortunately, Tamper Monkey is not in here, but I want to be able to use Tamper Monkey on Firefox on Android. So in order to do that, what we need to do is head over to our settings option here. And when you go under settings, you can scroll down to the bottom and hit about Firefox nightly. And then it's not very obvious here, but what you can actually do is tap on the Firefox icon here. And if you just cl click on it about five or six times, you'll see that down here at the bottom, it says debug menu enabled. So now if you go back, this new option is actually opened up right here called Custom Add-on Collection. So if we go ahead and just tap on that, it'll pop open this option where we can type in our collection ID as well as our collection name. I'm going to come back over here, hit Edit, and just grab my user ID from there. You can also grab it directly from the URL up here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type in the collection ID, which is or sorry, user ID, which is 151-36847. And then the collection name is going to be demo video. So just set it up like that, hit OK. And then down at the bottom, it's going to say quitting application to apply changes. So it is it does have to actually exit Firefox Nightly, and then you just go ahead and reopen it. And then once you've reopened Firefox Nightly, you should be able to go to, sorry, the dots in the bottom right corner, 
head over to add-ons and now under recommended extensions we now have our custom curated list of extensions that we created here in this uh, add-ons website. Um, if, you, if you're looking at documentation on like GitHub or anything, people frequently refer to Firefox add-ons as AOM. I think it's add-ons Mozilla, add-ons.mozilla.org, but it, it goes by AOM. So if you ever see AOM all in caps, that's probably what people are talking about. But anyways, go ahead and just click on the plus button next to Tamper Monkey and add the extension. And I'm going to check to allow in private browsing because I noticed it didn't seem to activate properly unless I enabled that. I'm not entirely sure if that's just a bug or if that's intentional. Uh, and you can see that because I enabled it for in private browsing, it has a little private icon next to it there. So at this point, the add-on is enabled. So if we open up the little menu down here, go to add-ons, sure enough, there it is. And if we click on settings, that should take us over to the settings page here. Now, what you can do is go ahead and just open up a new tab. So I hit the little uh, square. Sorry, I can't really point to it. But right down here in the bottom, if you long press on it, do new tab. Go to github.com slash pcgeek86. And I created a repository out here. So if you go over to repositories, and then search for uh, user scripts. Oh, yeah. User scripts. Uh, inside this repository, if you click on view code and then click on this Twitter block users, then user script.js, and then click on the raw button there. And the raw button will take you just to the raw code. And then what I'm going to do is actually copy the URL here. I'll just long press on that, do copy. And then I'm going to hit the little tab button down here and switch back to my Tamper Monkey extension. And then if you go over to the Utilities tab, there's this handy dandy option down here that says Install from URL. And so once you've copied that URL to the clipboard, just go ahead and click in there and long press and do paste and click on the Install button. And it's going to give you this little warning screen saying, it's give, it kind of breaks down all the information for you. It shows you who the author is, the description, the original source, which is that GitHub URL that we created. And it's also going to show you this includes section here. And we're actually going to have to modify that really quickly because it actually needs to include mobile.twitter.com. So what I'm going to do is click into the source code here and see if it'll let me edit. It's not going to let me edit. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and hit install up at the top. And then I'm going to go back to the extension, head over to installed user scripts, click on the name of that script, actually hit, hit that little icon over on the right hand side the, under actions to edit. And this will bring up a nice little kind of in browser editor. And it's a little bit challenging to navigate, but I'm just going to click on this include twitter.com. And then I'm going to add star dot twitter.com right in there so that it applies to mobile.twitter.com and any other subdomains that Twitter might have. And if you just kind of scroll over to the left here, hit File, Save, and we should now be activated. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up all of my tabs, close all these tabs, just to kind of start fresh here. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new tab, and we'll head over to twitter.com which is going to redirect us to mobile.twitter.com. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and just skip the option to use the app because I don't want to use the app. I want to use it in browser here. All right, so now I'm logged in to Twitter and I want to find something to block. So I'll head over to the Explore tab where all the uh, popular stuff is, pretty much anything popular you can be reasonably confident is something you'd probably want to block just because it turns into a political cesspool. Uh, so, all right, here's something COVID-related. Washington, D.C., blah, 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 CDC. And actually, I'm going to make sure that the extension's active first. I'm going to go over to Add-ons. And as you can see, we've got this little one icon next to Tamper Monkey. And so what that's doing is it's indicating to us that there's actually an active uh, script enabled on this particular web page. So that, that's good. We want to see that. Um, uh, so I don't really want to follow the CDC. I don't really want them telling me to wear a mask and whatever else. 
So if I just click on this little down arrow next to that CDC tweet, you'll see that it says successfully blocked down at the bottom. And so what that actually did is it saved me a couple of steps because normally if this script was not enabled, I'd actually have to click the down arrow, I'd have to click the block button, and then I'd have to, it would pop up a confirmation. Are you sure you want to block this, this user? And you'd have to click block again. So this actually gives you a really nice way of, um, you know, blocking stuff. So here's some mayor who is talking about vaccines. Uh, don't really care about 4,500 frontline workers who have taken the vaccine. So if I just click the down arrow next to that, it's just gone. And my life is much better because I don't have to see this propaganda about wearing masks and vaccines and crap like that. So uh, this is really convenient. Um, I hope you guys find it useful as well. Uh, this is obviously much more useful than just uh, creating user scripts that block Twitter users. You can create your own user scripts that do pretty much anything in JavaScript. Uh, and it's a really powerful capability. Anyways, if you liked this video, thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see future videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.